Okay, I'm Robert Yorger and this is my newest puzzle chest. Um, it's from the top, looking down. Um, the lid of this chest just simply removes. It's held in place on the top just by the grooves here. It's uh, interchangeable. It's got two sides for two secret compartments. They both have different solutions to them. And it just fits in the top snugly and lays on the top and is easily removed. I'll put it off to the side. Okay. This particular chest has um, 16 puzzle drawers. They all look about like this. And um, they got little uh, slots in the middle of them that fit into um, grooves on uh, the mechanics that are underneath the in the second layer to move all the mechanics around. Um, you have to solve each one of these puzzle boxes. They are all unique. They all open up in a different way um, in order to get the puzzle pieces out of them. And then after that, you have to figure out where they actually go. Um, by logical deduction on the uh, top of this box. Um, and then after that you have to solve how to uh, manipulate the box to actually get the two secret drawers to open. Um, I'm just going to put these on here because I happen to know where they go. Um, there we go. Just have to give me a second here. Some of them, you know, the logical deduction thing, uh, like have a groove in the middle of them so you know it has to go in a place that has a post where it will still fit and slide. Um, others have little dots in them so they can tell you uh, how you're supposed to line them up and where they're supposed to go. Uh, it's another logical thing. Most of them you have to logically deduce where they go based upon how the mechanics work. So you have to get some of it actually assembled before you can figure out where uh, other parts of it go. Does that piece go there? I don't think that piece goes there. Well, I'll figure it out in a minute. Start with that one. Start with this one. All right. Uh, it's got some grooves in the bottom of it. This one goes right about here. This is a rather interesting piece right here. That one took a long time to make. This is a cool one right here. It's got this little uh, notch in here that fits inside of this so that it, it turns one way but not the other. If you turn it the wrong way, the piece, uh, push it one way, it engages. You push it the other way and it just spins around and it won't turn the, uh, the actual mechanics of it. So it's a one-way mechanical part. And normally all these mechanics are manipulated by um, moving the puzzle boxes in and, outside, in, in and out of the box. Every time you push a puzzle in, it shoots out uh, another puzzle box out of another direction. Um, at the same time manipulates the gears, but um, I'm not going to do that right now because I've got a really short span on my video here. I'm just going to show you how some of the mechanics of it actually work. That rocks this back and forth, sticking my hands in here to actually manipulate some of these pieces. Normally this would be done by the puzzle boxes going in and out. Uh, all these have magnets on them in different places, and those come into play later on. Um, this right here, the little part I told you about before, if you turn it the wrong way, it just raises up and keeps on moving. If you turn it the other way, it will re-engage back down in and push this back so that it engages here so you can take it back the other direction. When you hit the stopping block over here, it just has a spring. Um, but this is the uh, basically the mechanics of it. Um, let me get the lid real quick. The trick to it here is whenever you put the lid on, you can't see it, but there's a little uh, dots on, the, on here that line up to make a constellation. You have these little gold magnets that just fit into different spots on the lid. And uh, just by turning the mechanics, you can see that they move around until you get... Well, those two wanted to do something funky. Um, 
they keep moving around until you get them exactly lined up to form the constellation and at that point the drawers will actually open. More of them on here though. There's one. Um, what? I'm just trying to do it a little bit too fast. But that's basically it. Um, uh, probably another video is needed to show it from the sides and show the operation of the puzzle boxes moving in and out. But basically it's a constellation box. you got to make a constellation before it will open up one way and make another constellation by flipping the lid over to uh, make the other drawer open the other way. Alrighty then.